Hey friends, head coach of CrossFit DHP, my name's Ryder. I'm here with you today to talk about the anatomy of a CrossFit class. Here at CrossFit DHP, we do a couple extra things that are outside the normal to get even better results for our clients. Uh, one of the things that we incorporate into our class is a mindset. You know, we want all of our athletes to be not only just physically strong and healthy, but also, also mentally strong and healthy as well, too. So we start each class with a mindset. Today's mindset is be the best you that you can be. Kind of reiterating that, you know, sometimes it's not about the results that we get. It's about the process. It's about the effort and how we get better by doing and going through that process and giving more effort, regardless of what the result is. We can always win if we're rewarding ourselves for the effort that we get. We start off each workout uh, with uh, each day with a meeting at the whiteboard here where we talk about our mindset, what our part A is, which is a functional warm up to get your specific muscles that we're using that day warmed up and ready to go through those motions. Uh, we're going to go through a mobility portion to again get you uh, stretched out, get those tissues softened up and supple and ready to go. Then we're going to go through our WAD, the workout of the day, and follow it up with a cool down. So our part A today is going to be three rounds. We have 10 tempo squats, 10 half kneeling presses, and three wall walks. The reason why we have the part A, like I said, is so that we can specifically focus on the muscles and the movements that we're going to do in that day's workout to make sure that we reduce the chance of injuries and give you an actual proper warm-up. Rather than, hey, you're going to go run a mile today, go run a couple times up and down the block and doing the same thing that you would do in the workout for the warm-up that doesn't make sense, we want to make sure that your neurology that your muscles, your joints, your hormones, everything in your body is tuned up and ready to go and an optimal performance for the workout ahead. Following that, we're going to go through a mobility portion. This is where we use some kind of implements, typically a band, a foam roller, a lacrosse ball, something of that nature to help you move your body better. To get on a lacrosse ball and dig into some soft tissue, to get your muscles a little bit more supple, to get you a little bit more flexible, a little bit more stretched out, and really ready to perform your best in the workout that's coming up. Again, both the part A and the mobility are specifically picked out for that workout and the stimulus that we're looking for that day. Then we're going to go into our WOD, which is our workout of the day. Every single day that workout changes, changes the muscle groups, the movements, the intensities that we're doing so that you can get a well-rounded sense of fitness, right? We don't want to do the same workout week after week, day after day. It gets boring, gets monotonous, and you tend to climax and, and get like uh, plateaued at that point. So we want to make sure that you're constantly changing, constantly varying what you're doing, and constantly uh, getting better. So we change this workout every single day to make sure that you get the best results possible over the long term. So we do the workout. Today we got Fran listed down there. Uh, and then we do a cool down. And the cool down is specifically to help heal those muscles that have gotten a workout during that session. Uh, that might be a little sore, maybe a little tighter, um, and maybe a little pumped up from all the extra blood going to them. So in this case today, we chose to do a foam roll on the quads to help get some of the blood flow back in and out of the legs and return you being able to be able to walk well and have less pain less achiness and better recovery time following your workouts to reduce your chance of injury. So what we do, a little bit different again, we have a mindset to start off. We have part A, a functional warm up, a mobility portion, the workout, which is the focus of the class, and then a cool down. And of course, while these portions are going on, the part A and the mobility and the WOD, the instructor is going out and giving you guys instructions on how to do the movements. Uh, grabbing PVCs with all the athletes and going through the movement patterns correctly and properly so that you know how to move correctly. That's super important. Can't send you out there not moving well and expect you to get better, right? So uh, they're going to take a PVC or a lightweight and show you how to do those movements, make sure you're moving properly, and then help you choose the right uh, weights or the right reps to make sure that you're getting a movement uh, workout that's quality and set for you specifically. So that's what we do here. I hope you enjoy.